Good morning and welcome to this edition of the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. You know, there are certain shows that I get excited about because I know that we're going to share information, tell stories that could change someone's life. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do this morning on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. We're going to spend the entire half an hour talking about something, one word, strokes. It affects strokes, affect our community disproportionately. We're going to go through the maze of what it means, how it affects you, not just you, but the entire family. And then we'll get a medical perspective as well as a social service perspective. So we begin with my friend, Audra Walker, who had a stroke in February of 2015. And she's going to walk us through what her journey has been like the last two years. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Lynn. I'm glad to be here. So, February 19th, yep, 2015. 2015. Talk me through February 18th, 2015. Normal day? Normal day. Um, at the time, I was working for the, um, watch, see, this happens all the time. Yeah. But I was work, working for the Greater Pittsburgh, uh, God, not Greater Pittsburgh, the um, Urban League. Okay of Greater Pittsburgh Charter School. Oh, okay, all right. And um, we had a snow day mm -hmm. on the 18th, so my day was fine. I wasn't feeling any kind of way, but that's the day I changed high blood pressure medication. It's the only thing that was different that day mm. is I switched off of one of the medications and placed on another one. Mm -hmm. um, so that day was normal. Normal, It was okay. just a normal day. Mm -hmm. I go to bed. Um, the next morning, my son asked me to take him to work, but I woke up with the worst headache of my life. Hmm. Now, I've suffered with migraines on and off since I was 11 years old. Okay. But this migraine was, it was more than a migraine. Okay. Um, and so, but my head hurt so bad, I, I told my son, I said, I'll take you, but um, it's just that my head's hurting. So I drove him to work, got him to work, which is 15, was 15 minutes from my house. Mm -hmm. So... <clears throat> We're in the parking lot dropping him off, and my headache got actually worse, where now I'm seeing an aura. Mm. And for people who don't know what that is, people with migraines sometimes see auras, mm -hmm. and I've had them before, but this one, the difference with this one is, is how long it lasts. Okay. So I literally lost my vision. So what I could see was it looked like shooting stars with a gray circle in the middle okay. with things, in both eyes with things moving like a kaleidoscope. Mm -hmm. So I sat there for a minute thinking it would clear up soon and it didn't and I had to get back home because my head was really hurting. It was that much so pain. So it was that much pain. So I drove home. How I made it home is between God and you and I because mm -hmm. normally if you're having that kind of vision problem, you can't you can't see, so you're bound to have an accident. Now at this point, you're still thinking migraine, I'm not stroke. I'm still thinking okay. migraine and okay. not stroke. Um, finally made it home. 15 minutes later, I took my time and I actually followed the road through the kaleidoscope that I was seeing because mm -hmm. it looked like the cars were moving. So I just sort of used that as my guide to get home. I got home <clears throat> and I. Um, told my daughter I had this bad headache and this aura and it had cleared up somewhat. And I said, I'm taking two Tylenol and I'm going back to bed. This is about 7.30 in the morning. So I took the Tylenol and I went to sleep. Around 10 o'clock I woke up and my head was still pounding and I you know, had to go to the bathroom so I got up and went in the bathroom. And that's when the first sign that something was wrong happened but I ignored it because I thought I had gotten up too fast. But what had happened was I had lost the ability to hold toilet paper. Mm. Um, I became confused in the mind. And it was like a Disney cartoon, like you're reaching for something and it kept moving away from mm -hmm, you. Mm -hmm. um, but it cleared up within a matter of seconds. So I just dismissed it as, okay, you have a headache, you got up too fast, mm -hmm. take some more Tylenol, go to bed. So I did. Next time I woke up was at four o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And I got up because what woke me up was I had peed on myself. Mm -hmm. Didn't realize it, but I'm like something was warm and wet and I got up, I thought, well, I've never done that before. What's going on? So when I got up, I immediately knew something was wrong because that same weird thing, like things mm -hmm, were so feeling, far, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. was there, but only this time it wasn't going away. It was getting worse. 
So I finally made it from the bathroom to the living room to tell my daughter, something's wrong, call your dad. Mm -hmm. Not thinking I'm having a stroke or I ha was, was in its full stroke mode when mm -hmm. I woke up. He, she, she called her dad, but then she looked up and she said, Mom, what's wrong with your face? My face had dropped on the left side. Mm. Um, then I started losing my balance, and then I'm reaching to grab something to hold me up, and here it's the sweeper, and I slid down the sweeper like a cartoon hmm. commercial, and I was on the floor, but I couldn't push myself back up. I'm trying to push myself up, and I kept flopping like a fish. So by that point, my daughter... Now, did you know any stroke symptoms at this point? Um, like the face? I, I, the I knew the stroke symptoms, uh -huh. but in the, in the state I was in, no, okay. because my mind had become foggy. Like okay. I didn't know what was happening to me. Uh -huh. I knew something was wrong, but what exactly it was, I didn't know. Because I, cu I couldn't, I couldn't. It's hard to explain it. But oh, I, I get I it. You didn't put it all together. I didn't put yeah. it all together. My yeah. brain had just went blank. Hold that thought. We're going to take a commercial break. We have a lot more to do this morning on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. You are going to be so glad you tuned in. Don't go away. We'll be right back.